Today we announced Kin, which is the new phone from Microsoft. I'm actually holding in my hand Kin 2. We're announcing two form factors. This is the larger one. I'll show you the smaller one, Kin 1, in just one second. But the first thing we did when we started this phone project about two, three years ago was talk to people. Mm. We talked with more than 22,000 people before we designed the first feature. And what we found for the socially connected generation is they want an easy, effortless way to share. So this is how we begin here on the home screen. We call it the loop. This is my phone. You see my name here, Matthew Benke. And I can see my latest social networking status as it would happen. I love social networking and I love Channel 9. Me too. And these are all my favorite people. So you see Ali. You see I have my favorite stuff, celebrity gossip I like to follow. This brings together all in one very photographic experience all the people and stuff I care about most. And as you see me scrolling down, it's literally going through time and showing all of this different information. It brings together Engadget, other feeds that I like, Perez Hilton, it brings together my, my friends, faves. my faves, <laughs> from people from Facebook, Live, MySpace, Twitter, all in one place so I can just constantly stay in touch. And I literally call it the Bleed Magazine of my life. Magazine because it's my magazine, my story. And Bleed because you can see that we've really taken care in the user experience to use every pixel on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot of cool things about this home screen called The Loop. You can see here that I can not only see what my friends are up to, but actually interact with them. So, one of my BFFs is Roz. So, it looks like she says there's an exciting day coming on her mm -hmm. Facebook page. I can literally just tap and hold and drag Roz's Facebook status into the, this little circle at the bottom of the screen that we call the spot. And let's say I know that Roz wants to share, I'd like to share that news about Roz's excitement with some of my friends. I swipe over to the right, and what you see here is my inner circle. Mm -hmm. Kin is smart. It knows who my best friends are, the people I talk with the most, the people I care with the most, and it, it literally treats them differently. So you can see the phone is smart enough to know that I talk with Chris a lot, I talk with Scott a lot, I talk with Princess Roz a lot, and so <laughs> it, these people literally get a bigger icon in my world. Now, I dragged Roz's Facebook status into this little circle at the bottom that we called the spot. Let's say I wanted to share that with Chris. I can just grab Chris drag him into the spot. I can grab Pete, who I know is pretty excited about what's going on too, mm -hmm. drag him into the spot. And when I cl click on the circle, I see that I've got Pete and Chris and Roz's Facebook status all right there. And I can easily, ta-da, it's got a QWERTY keyboard. I can just <laughs> literally share this with any of them. I could type a message quickly, and then I could either upload that to my Facebook, my MySpace, my live account. Mm -hmm. I could send them and I could- there we go. I can send them an email or a text or an MMS, and that way I can effortlessly share without having to retype nice. any of the Facebook status. I can do it by MMS. Quick I can do and it easy, by very cool. That's the idea. Just make it really effortless to share. So I thought I'd show you a couple of other cool things that we designed into the Kin phones, right? Okay. So I just showed you the loop, and that's how I always keep in the loop. The I loop showed and the spot. The loop, the spot. I showed you the inner circle. Mm -hmm. I want to show you Zoom. Really excited to ship the first Zune phone, and it's got the full Zune experience here, right? Okay. So in my case, I've got a bunch of music that I've got on here. You can see I can enjoy it in its full graphical and audio beauty. Woo! He's a favorite of mine. I can learn more about my favorite bands, what their other songs are. I can look at pictures of them. I can read about their bio. Mm -hmm. I can even discover their related music all right here. So. The, the, one of the great things about having Zune on my phone is that I'm literally always connected. So if I want to discover more music, I can use my Zune pass, mm -hmm. right, and just go over here to related artists. Yep. And I see that, you know, G Love and Special Sauce kind of reminds the Zune intelligence of Beck. Well, I actually don't have any Beck. <gasps> I know, sad. But <laughs> wait a minute, I have 12 million songs available to me on this phone because I have a Zune pass and I can stream this music over the Verizon network and it'll just start loading and then it'll cache in the background and just play. Awesome. I can do the same thing for So you've got all that music, a huge database right here at your fingertips. Right here. Phone. With all and this, a Zune Pass. With a Zune Pass. It's just a fantastic experience and it's a rich graphical musical experience. I can watch videos. I've got TV shows that I've sideloaded from my Zune on my PC. Mm -hmm. I can... And you can save these to your phone, right? I mean, I think you had how much memory? A yep. decent amount. We have 8 gigs of memory on the right. phone. Very cool. Plenty to roam with. And then, I, again, thanks to the Zune Pass, I have this 12 million songs wherever I go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. 
So I wanted to show you one other really important thing. You know, it turns out that something like 8 in 10 of our target customers, the socially connected generation, use their phones to capture their social lives. And that probably won't surprise you. What's more surprising, though, is that more than half of these people never get their pictures off their phone. So we took a lot of care in designing, designing a great camera experience. Mm -hmm. This one here, the Kin 2, has an 8 megapixel camera that okay. actually shoots 720p high def video. Nice. And you can also tell that we've optimized the lens for low light conditions. It probably won't surprise you to hear that most of our customers take photos in low light conditions. Right. Could be a nightclub, could be a concert, could be whatever. Yeah, and my phone that I have now has no flash, so it's a nightmare. Yeah, not a good thing. We have a big, bright, loomy LED flash on this cool. camera. And what's even cooler is we have literally infinite storage on this phone because we cache these up into the cloud. And so you can see here, these are literally my photos, my photo album as I scroll back through time. I can play some of my high def videos right here on the phone itself. Right. Not bad, little Easter egg that, hunt. Oh, Easter egg hunt, okay, cute. Very important. <laughs> I can flip back to my album. I can go over and see my favorites. Mm -hmm. I can go through my albums. In my case, I chose to organize them by time, so I can simply scroll through. I can have a Facebook album. I can have online photos. I can see my friends' photos. The cool thing about this camera is I don't have to even think about it. Mm -hmm. When I take a picture, I can easily share it. I can upload it to Facebook, to Live, to MySpace. I can share it immediately. I can tag it. All with like just touching, single clicks. As soon as I take the picture, right. boom, I can share it, upload it, MMS it, email it. Super easy, super cool. If I don't like it, I have the option of taking it over again. All right from the camera experience. I don't have to think about an app or anything like that. We don't like to think. No, we just like to do. <laughs> and what's even cooler is the, the phone's smart. So I have 8 gigs of memory. This will be the first phone that's launched in the world where you don't have to think about how many photos you can store. Because it's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. And it's, it's not just in the cloud. It's smart the way we cache it. So we keep a thumbnail, a tiny little thumbnail, on the phone of all of your photos and videos. If you do start to run out of space, we make it really easy because we'll just keep the thumbnail and we push the full res version Great. compressed up into the cloud. So, Laura, that's Kin 2. Cool. I also want to show you Kin 1. Mm -hmm. Kin 2 is the phone that we designed for people who want a big, nice HVGA screen, nice big wide keyboard again, mm -hmm. 8 megapixel camera. We also built something that we're very excited about called Kin 1. Kin 1 little is a smaller. little smaller form factor. We designed it specifically for what we call Soho, surreptitious one-handed operation. Okay. So, whether you're a young person, I don't want to say in a classroom or in the backseat of the car, wherever you right. might be, in a club <laughs> or in a rock concert, and you don't want people to see that you might be using your phone, this is really easy. It fits in your pocket. It's uh, easy to operate with one hand. You can see it, it has all, all the, the same, same functionality, right? All the same functionality. Okay. Ta-da. Great QWERTY keyboard. Nice. We make it really easy for you to message without having to think about it. It has a 5 megapixel camera. It shoots full v VGA video. Mm -hmm. And other than that, you can see here the full bleed magazine in my life, so I can always stay in the loop. It's got the same circle. That is the spot. I've got all the same apps and experiences, including the Zune, great web browser. And that is tiny. So it's the same thing, it's just a little smaller and cuter. Absolutely. And lest I forget for my friends at Bing, both of these phones have easy access to search. Right one button, you see the little magnifying glass here? Yep. I can search my phone, I can search nearby me, and I can search on the web, all without having to think hard about it. 